How's it going, everybody? Alright. Now, for this specific video, we're going to be talking about horror icons. Now, um, y'all might not want to. A lot of y'all, if y'all are huge horror fans, y'all might want to be talking about this a little bit with me. Um, if y'all horror fans in general, so let's just talk about these. Which great horror icons? We're gonna start first. All right, so um, I'm so glad we got horror icon type um movies out there. I'm so happy we got a bunch of horror icons. Now, as I said last year, or like I said did I, this year, we got horror movies coming back. Um, you know, it, if y'all could, it might be considered a horror icon, but it kind of is. But, um, so yeah. Alright, we're going to start off by the um, Jeepers Creepers movies. Jeepers Creepers 1, 2, and 3. Now, I know a lot of people hate this freaking movie. Um, I thought it was okay to me. It ain't, you know, a great movie. There's a lot of mistakes in it. But, um, I still enjoy it. Um, I love Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2 and 3. I enjoy it. It's it's not that bad of a movie. But, Jeep, the Creeper is still a horror icon. I do got all the screen movies. That's a horror icon too, Ghostface. But um, it's a bunch of power movies. That I don't feel like getting out right now. But I'm doing this for the fall of October anyway. So um, yeah, Scream. I love the Scream films, but I didn't feel like getting it out because it's in the power movies. Two excuse one through three, fantastic films in my opinion. So um, yeah, those are good horror icons. Um. Next, we have the Halloween franchise. Now, I, I know a lot of people love these freaking franchises, especially me. I, I adore the original 1978 John Carpenter's Halloween, and I enjoy the original Halloween 2. Now, Halloween 3 is sort of a horror icon. Maybe it kind of isn't because we have nothing to do with Michael Myers, but, you know. Halloween 4 and 5. Halloween 4, amazing movie. Halloween 5, it was just okay. It ain't perfect. It's okay to me. Then we got the 3 disc set. Halloween H2O, Halloween Resurrection, Halloween The Crystal Michael Myers. 3 disc set right here. I remember when I bought that on sale. Then we got Rob Zombie's first Halloween. Now, a lot of people don't enjoy this either. Like, I enjoy this. Um, You know... I do love Halloween 1, Halloween 2, but not the um, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, but I like the original Halloween 1 and Halloween 2, and then I like Halloween 4, and then I like Halloween H2O, and then Hallow um, Rob Zombie's first Halloween, then I like Halloween, um, the new Halloween movie, you know, 2018 Halloween. Those are the ones I definitely like, so six of them, perfect to me, I'm a huge fan of but the rest of them... It's still watchable, but, um, I still, you know, have problems with them, but, Rob Zombie's Halloween, great film, great kills, and everything else, but, it ain't, um, it ain't, you know, wildly great or anything, then we got Rob Zombie's Halloween too. now, you know, the, the newest Halloween film made this look like a piece of shit, the way, the newest one is. The newest one had a cool feel. The newest one had what I wanted in a Halloween film. But this film right here ain't that great of a film. Um, I do not recommend this that much. But they got certain scenes I do enjoy. But not that much um, good scenes in it. Um, I showed y'all these before. You know, Fire the 13th Collection. Fire the 13th one. And no, Friday the 13th 1 and 2, Friday the 13th 3 and 4, you know, kids with the final chapter, which is that's my favorite Jason movie of all time. Um, and then you got Friday the 13th 5, 
the new a new beginning, and then you got Fight the New Part Six, Peace and Lives. That that one's pretty good, but then they got Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven, The New Blood, and then Friday the Thirteenth Part Eight, Jason Takes Manhattan, and Jason X. This is one of my guilty pleasures. Y'all probably find it out in one of my other videos. Oh man, Jason Goes to Hell. This came with unrated, unrated and R-rated version. So yeah, two versions in this one movie right here. Um, then I got the Friday the 13th remake. You know, I do got Freddy vs. Jason, but it's in my Nightmare on Elm Street pack. But this film, I enjoy a lot. Um, they got some good elements, but the characters are okay, and it ain't the best characters in the film, but I do still enjoy it. Um, it felt darker and everything else. Okay, film. Um, nobody wonder why I'm talking about these too much because just for another video for the day, I guess. But I just feel like talking about movies today. Um, the eight pack Fire Nightmare on Elm Street films. Now, this films were the hell a lot to go through. Trust and believe that. Because, um, this film, I took uh, my time with these films. I took my time with these films. Like, I watched one of them. And I had to watch them all different review them. Like, I had to watch one of them, review them. Watch another one and review them. It was crazy. I took my time with this one. So, yeah. I took my time with this franchise. And, um, I love the first one. I love the second one. The third one I love. The fourth one. It was okay. But I still enjoy it. The fifth one, I did not like. Freddy's Dead was okay to me. Wes Craven's New Nightmare, loved it. Freddy vs. Jason, loved it. And then the remake, I enjoyed it more than most people did. I really did enjoy this more than most people did. Um, now we're going to my Chucky franchise. Now, um... Starting off with the original, of course. I'm showing you my entire Chucky collection with this video anyways. Probably did it a few times, but who cares? Um, I just feel like showing them one more time. See, this is like Chucky's 20th birthday edition. Um, this is cool. It has all the cool bonus features in it. So that's freaking awesome. Um, I do enjoy this film a lot. This film's like almost a masterpiece. Um... It pretty much is a masterpiece. It had one of the best endings in Child's Play history. One of them. And stuff. It's really awesome. It has the suspense thrill. All of it. And stuff. It's an amazing film. It's rewatchable. I can rewatch this anytime. And love the hell out of it. Next we have. Child's Play 2. Limited edition. Going with the dark art. Um, I like to collect different editions of these. I said it a few times. Now, this film is how to do a sequel. I'm telling y'all, start the bat. If you love killer doll movies, this these are the movies you watch. Um, Child's Play 2, when I was younger, this film was like one of my childhood memories. All the Chucky movies are my childhood memories in a way, but this film is just so good, so well done. Chucky looks amazing in the film. Um... And stuff, it's crazy. The Toy Story ending is just amazing. I love every second of this film. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. 11 out of 10. I'm not rating all these. Just, you know, tiny, tiny bit. But, Bride of Chucky. Go in the Dark Art Edition, Limited Edition. Now, I do enjoy Bride of Chucky. Um, um, this movie has a cool, different feel, um, I do enjoy Bride of Chucky, um, Chucky looks pretty scary in this, I do enjoy it, Tiffany's kind of freaky in this, she's kind of scary, um, but, I enjoyed it, I'll give it 9 out of 10, 
but it's still amazing. Um, there's my six Chucky movie collection. Um, came with Child's Play, Child's Play Two, Child's Play Three was like I thought that movie was okay, but it wasn't the best. And then you got Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky. Don't want to talk about that one. And then Curse of Chucky. Now that movie, when I first seen Curse of Chucky. I was like, I seen the trailers for it, and I went crazy. I went batshit crazy. I'm like, oh shit, no Chucky movie. We ain't had one in years. And then the trailer drove me crazy, and then the movie, I liked it. I loved it actually, and um, because it, it brought Chucky back to its roots and stuff, it was really awesome. Um, now my final, but not least, is Cult of Chucky. Now, what can I say about this film that was just almost a masterpiece? I am not even kidding. This film, everything about the kills, the story, everything. When this takes place in the middle of asylum, you got three Chucky dolls that come to life. It's just an amazing film to me. Um, it's almost a masterpiece. Very close to being a masterpiece. Um, it's really good. It's like a... Um, 10 out of 10 for me. It's really good. Um, so yeah. If y'all, so I guess that's it for this video. Um, if y'all enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And I guess I'm out of here, everybody. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And peace out.